Hey everyone, today I'd like to share with you how to create a drop down menu in Google Sheets. The data table I'm going to use is the same one I used in the last video on filters, so if you haven't watched that one yet, please click the link. Now, a drop down menu is very important. It can mostly be used when you're working with a large set of data and you don't want to type the data every time, or you have a limited amount of choices for example, states or type of companies. And instead of just typing them out, you wanna just be able to select one of the options, in this case, three options or four states. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is create your list of items to be included in the menu. And for the sake of this video, we're gonna have two. We're gonna have the state drop-down menu, where you select the state of the company, and the type drop-down menu, where you select the type or size of the company. You're gonna to wanna to create these on a separate sheet. And let me mention before I do this that this step is completely optional, but we'll get there later in the video. So I created the state and type, and it simply just typed out the different values that I want to include in the drop-down menu. Now for creating the menu. So we'll start with state, and we'll go to, we'll highlight our data. We'll select data, data validation, and then the cell range, we already selected it, but you could type it in if you didn't select it before starting this. And then we'll do the list from a range, and you could enter the range or select it. We're gonna select it, select data range. And then we'll go to the other sheet, select the cells we want to have in the drop down menu, hit OK and save. Then you'll see this whole range has the drop down menu, and if you need to change the state, you click on this little upside down triangle and you select from here. Now, like I mentioned before, you don't even have to create this whole separate sheet where you type out the list of items you want in your drop down menu. You could just type them out instead, instead of selecting it. So we'll do that example for the type of company. We'll select our data again, and we'll click data, data validation. Instead of list from a range, if you don't want to do that, like I just said, do list of items, and then you enter a list, comma separate list. So we'll do small, intermediate, and large. And then that should create it as well. Make sure it's spelled all correctly hit save, and then you'll have a perfect drop down menu just the same way. And that's pretty much it as far as the drop down menu is concerned. I never knew how to make one, but once you figure it out, it's really simple and it's very useful in your spreadsheet. So I recommend taking the time to practice and learn it yourself. If you like this video, then please like and comment and subscribe. And thanks again for watching. I appreciate it.